I recently made a video about a modular approach to survival in EDC. And I presented four different modular kits that I used to create a, a system to address all different types of situations. The, the four kits were, number one, this small survival kit, which is in a Maxpedition mini pouch, tools, which is in a Leatherman tool pouch, first aid, which is in this, this first aid pouch that I found on Amazon, and the urban survival, which is in this pouch that I also found on Amazon. At the time that I made that video, this first aid kit and this urban survival kit were brand new. And um, I didn't have videos for those, so I, I just went over those in that video. The small survival kit and the tool kit both had videos already. But I've, I've continued to work on this since then. And in this video today, um, I want to talk about the sort of 2.0 version of this toolkit. Um, in putting this all together, and, and in fact, when I first created this small survival kit, the idea was to have something that you could fit, um, you know, to be pocket size, sort of quote unquote. Um, this is actually pretty big. It's um, the Leatherman mini pouch is, is four inches by six inches. And depending on how stuffed it is, it's a couple inches thick. But like in the summertime, I wear these cargo shorts. This could fit in the cargo pocket of those cargo shorts. It could fit in the cargo pocket of cargo pants. It could fit in a, a jacket pocket uh, in the winter. And it could, uh, it could fit into um, like a backpack or a camera bag. I'm a, I'm a photographer. Uh, if I'm going off in the woods, um, it could fit in there. And so this kind of became my standard size-wise. You can see the Leatherman pouch is um, actually slightly smaller, about the same size. This is actually also the same size as this. This is a little too big. Uh, and I've, I've tried some other pouches. I've tried some smaller pouches. I can't really fit what I want in it. This is still a work in progress. There'll be a, another video about this in the future. And I'm actually going to make a video about this in, af after I finish this. But I, I want to go back. I want to talk about this Leatherman um, tool pouch. Um, some more. So I have added to this pouch. I have changed some things that are in this, that are in this pouch. And I think what I have created is a really, really powerful um, toolkit. And I really love this pouch. I, I actually have another video on a toolkit that's in a Maxpedition micro pouch. And it's my most viewed EDC video. I think because people search on Maxpedition Micro, um, and I think this Leatherman just doesn't have the recognition that the um, Maxpedition does, um, I think this is a better pouch. And um, what I really like about this is on the back here, got these loops. So you can molly attach this. You can also put this on your belt. And that's typically how I would use this. And I could put this on my belt. And if I'm, you know, wearing my cargo shorts, I could put, you know, two other kits in each of the cargo pockets and carry three things at once. Um, but I, I really like this. This can go on, on your belt. And it's a little heavy to carry in your pocket, frankly. Um, this is, uh, you know, drip stop nylon. It's really well made. Um, YKK zipper. Um, I mentioned previously the first video about this. I'm not real wild about this little keeper thing. Kind of zipper can kind of get caught in it. Um, but other than that, it's really great. You got a little loop here if you want to carry it. And the thing is, is you put this on your belt and uh, you unzip this and it can sit on your belt. You can open it up. You can pull everything out and you don't have to worry about any of it falling out. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Um, so let's go through what's in here and I'll talk about what's new and what's different. So the centerpiece of this kit starts with a Leatherman surge tool. And, um, you know, on the internet, people talk about these multi-tools, about how they're, they do a lot of things, but they don't do anything well. And in the case of this Leatherman surge, because of the larger size, it's a little more functional, I think. Um, so this is a regular, you know, drop blade. Um, it's got a pair of scissors, and these are larger scissors than you're typically going to see in one of these, which makes them more functional. 
you've got a uh, serrated blade. And what's unique about this tool, and I really like, is this blade holder here. This actually comes apart. You can take this blade out. And this comes with this um, vinyl pouch. And it comes with an extra blade which is, um, I think, actually this, uh, which right here, this blade right here, which is like a diamond file. And um, it's got a, a cutting aid edge here um, that you can cut with as well. But the thing is, this holder, you can see the base of this blade is this T-base. That's a standard jigsaw base. So you go to a big box store, you go to a hardware store. These are a couple of jigsaws I bought. This is a metal cutting blade, a little bit more aggressive than that. And this is a wood cutting blade, again, more aggressive than that. So I added these two things into the kit, you know, big box store, hardware store, anywhere like that, you're going to see, you're going to have a lot of options in terms of additional blades that you can, you can add to this kit. So I really like that aspect of this. And, you know, these are all locking. Open this up, really nice pair of pliers, replaceable cutter blades in case you damage them. And now you can get to the tools that are on the inside of this. And uh, got an awl, which is, which is really nice to have. It's got a little hole in it that you could put some uh, cord through so you could use this to poke holes in something and sew up, you know, a piece of canvas or something like that. Um, a regular screwdriver, a, a big sort of screwdriver blade that you could pry with a little bit. Um, I don't know how much I'd use this for prying. I'm, I'm actually going to show you. I have a pry bar in this kit. Um, and on this side, you've got a um, bottle slash can opener, and you've got a bit holder. Now, um, and if you close this up, this becomes your, your screwdriver. Now, Leatherman makes these bits, and they're kind of flat. So if you can see this looking down, it's full width this way, and it's narrower this way. Um, and what this lets you do is they have two plastic boards that hold 10 bits each. These are double-ended bits. So you've got 20 double-ended bits, so it gives you 40 different bits. So it gives you a lot of bit coverage. The problem with this is you put this into a Phillips head screw, it doesn't really grip the way a, a full Phillips head um, screwdriver is going to grip. And so what I've done is something a little different here. So Leatherman also makes a bit extender for this. And so I've got that in here. And I've got a set of Weeha double-ended bits. Now this is 12 Weha double-ended bits. So you've got 24 bits. So not, not as many different bit options as you would get with the Leatherman. But these are full bits. So like this is a full Phillips head. It's a double-ended bit. Now I have one of the bits already in this bit holder. And I'll talk about why that is in just a second. Um, from the original video, I swapped out. I used to have a ratcheting bit extender. I've gone to a non-ratcheting bit extender. There is a ratchet in this kit, and having a ratcheted bit ex ratcheting bit extender that you then put into a ratchet creates some strange situations. So rather than that, this is just a fixed one. This goes right into this um, bit holder, and now you have a screwdriver. And it's, you know, it fits, feels pretty good in my hand. You could actually open this up this way if you needed a little extra torque. Um, you know, pretty, pretty capable screwdriver, got all those bits. Now, the reason that I leave this in here is I added a bit into this kit. This is a quarter inch hex to a micro bit holder, or this is, I think it's four millimeter hex is, is the micro bit size. And I'll talk about why that is in, in just a minute. Um, 
So I mentioned there's a ratchet in here. If you need a little bit of extra torque, um, or if you wanted to um, get in somewhere where it was really tight, you can take this ratchet and you can put these bits into the ratchet. And now you can get in somewhere really tight with this bit and use the, uh, the ratchet. You also can take this bit extender out. You can put the bit in the uh, bit extender. And this will actually go in the ratchet. And again, you know, before with the ratcheting one, sometimes this would be ratcheting one way and the ratcheting extender would be <laughs> trying to ratchet the other way and it wouldn't do anything. So um, I, I think it's just a little easier to have just a rhetoric sanction. But you can put the extension on here and uh, now you've got that solution. The other thing you can do here, the other thing I have in this kit that I've just added is this is a Weha precision bit driver handle. And this opens up, this cap comes off. Now these come with, if you buy this with the bits, it will come with six Torx bits in it. But you can also buy, and, and I'll have links to everything down below. They're not affiliate links, they're just for your convenience. Um, you can buy a set of micro bits from Weha. And I actually have, you know, all these bits, and they all fit in here. So I've got uh, 10 bits in here. And I've got, um, there's, uh, I think, three straight blade screwdrivers in here um, going down to very small, you know, so one, two, three. And there's a pretty small one here. So these kind of match up to this for the flat blades. Um, there's a couple of Phillips in here. And then the rest of these are Torx bits. So I've got all these bits. And the thing is, the thing about all this is, I also have this holder. And, and this, by the way, before I get away from this, it's got a nice magnetic bit holder so the bits stay in here. So you've got this. You can use this as a uh, screwdriver. And, and you know what I was thinking about here was I built this kit and it was good for doing a lot of things, but if I wanted to take away, apart any small electronic um, devices, I wouldn't have any bits for it. So this adds, you know, all of these bits. And the other thing is it works together. All this stuff in this kit works together. You've got this little holder, which, which is also, by the way, magnetic. This is, this is Weha for you. They make really, really good stuff. And this allows you to now put this bit into this ratchet holder or ratchet handle and get torque if you need it. This also can go, this sticks in here pretty good, um, which is actually, it's, it's kind of annoying when you're trying to get it out, but it's really nice that it doesn't fall out. Um, and you can put it in here and you can use this with this handle. And now you can use any of the precision bits or you can uh, use them with the extension with the, with the ratchet. So, you know, everything in this kit works together to cover different situations. Now, it takes a little bit of work to get these bits into the handle because it's, uh, you know, you're, you're really packing the handle. But I, I found that if you just sort of, you make a group of three, drop it in, make another group of three, Drop those in, final group of three. Drop those in, kind of shake it around a little. Last bit goes in, and there you go. You have 10 bits in this handle. So 10 micro bits. You've got 24 full-size bits plus the uh, micro bit adapter. 
Yeah. This gives you, you know, a lot of a lot of options and in full size things with a lot of torque and micro bits. Now some other things about this, and I, I do carry the one Leatherman bit because there's room for it, you might as well. The other thing I have in here is this is made by Klein Tools. And this is three double-ended sockets. 5 16 one quarter, 11 30 seconds, three eighths, half inch, seven sixteenths. These all come off of here. These are, by the way, impact rated. So if you have an impact driver, you could actually use these in your impact driver. But you can put these sockets on here. So there you got a half inch socket. You can put this into the ratchet wrench and you've got a little ratchet wrench set up. You can uh, put these, I'll put this down. You can put it in the end of the bit extender put it in here, so now you got a really long reach. So you have um, six different sockets available to you, all on this, uh, you know, extension. And again, these are all impact rated, so if you have a, an impact wrench, you can use them with that as well. Uh, in this version, I also added a very small, this is like a four inch crescent wrench, adjustable wrench. So now you've got a full adjustable wrench option. In the original version of this, I had a Griffin pry tool. It actually would get stuck a lot of times coming out. I find it very hard to get out. It had a lot of, um, you know, it was a pry tool, but I actually didn't like it as much as I like this pry tool where this is rounded and you get it under something and you just ease it out like this. Now the Griffin pry tool had a bottle opener on it, um, which this doesn't, but there's a bottle opener on here, so I don't care. The pry tool actually had um, a scale on the side, but it was only a couple inches. This Leatherman doesn't have a scale on the side. Some of the Leathermans do, um, but I'll get to that piece in a second. And it had some ability to open, to, to grip bolts or nuts. Um, but, you know, I, I added this, and this is more flexible and, and I think does a better job of that. So this is just a, you know, it's a pry tool. That's all it is, is a pry tool. But I think it's a better um, pry tool. I like this. And it comes out of the pack without getting stuck. And then I added this. This is a four inch Starrett ruler. This is a very good, very high quality ruler. So now I have a way to measure stuff up to four inches. Whereas again, on that Griffin pry tool, it was only a couple of inches. This is silly expensive. This is like $50 for this four inch ruler. Um, but it is a very high, high quality ruler, about as good as you can get. A um, few other things in the spirit of being able to work on small electronics. This is a pry tool for prying open things like iPhones, or if you have a little pair of headphones that has a battery in it, you can use this to pry those open. And then a little pair of uh, angle tweezers to be able to uh, grip small parts. Um, you could also, you know, if you got a sliver, you could use this to get the sliver out too, of course. Um, so it's nice, nice to have for that purpose as well, but I, I'm carrying this for the small electronic thing. So you've got, from a small electronics perspective, you've got tweezers, the pry tool for opening those, because this is not nearly as thin as this is on the end, so it's not going to do that. And then you've got the bits in here. And then the um, last capability that's in here is... Uh, this flashlight, this is a Fenix flashlight. It's a uh, 1,000 lumens um, on high. It, um, you can also put this down on, on much lower settings and get very long run times. And this is uh, the charging cord. It um, connects right here magnetically, 
and goes into a USB-A socket. And, you know, USB-A is uh, pretty common in um, cars nowadays. Both of my trucks have USB-A outlets in it. Um, so I don't have a charger in here per se, um, although there is a charger in the, the Urban Survival Kit if I had that with me. Um, so that gives me, uh, you know, a flashlight so I can see what I'm doing. So all of this stuff that you see here, all is fit into this Leatherman pouch, which again, this is a little bit smaller, almost the same size, a little bit smaller than this Maxpedition Mini, but has the advantage of going on your belt, top opening so you can get to all of this. And to me, this is a phenomenally useful toolkit. Before I even added some of this newest stuff to it, um, I had taken this with me on several camping trips in my camper and used this around the camper to make some small repairs and things like that, changing batteries out in um, some of the things that I had in the camper. And um, there was something wasn't working one night and I used a flashlight to go out and look at things and, and all of that kind of capability. So it's, it's a very functional kit. Um, if you um, like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I've been doing a lot of this uh, content lately. You'll see that the EDC kind of playlist is growing. Um, you know, and, and again, I, I like this better than the other kit that I built in the Maxpedition micro pouch, and I, I think this is a better solution for this. I, I love Maxpedition. I have a whole bunch of their pouches, but for this particular use, to me, this is ideal. I have a much bigger toolkit, which I may make a video on at some point in a Maxpedition. I think it's a beefy pouch. I never use it. But this thing, easy to carry, easy to keep with you, tremendously functional. So thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this video.